Hello Electroheads. Earlier this week we had a spirited debate at Electroheads HQ. Actually, it was more like an argument. In fact, at one point it nearly broke into fisticuffs. <laughs> we were debating which country is currently winning the EV race. And by winning the race, I mean leading the way. In other words, which country's combined car industry is doing the most right now to get more people into electric cars as quickly as possible? Cole thinks America. I mean, Tesla. Come on, if you walk around the street, ask somebody, what is the best electric vehicle today? It's gonna be Tesla. And to be frank, I think so too. Richard thinks it's Germany. It's not like America where one company is leading the charge. This is a joint effort from some of the biggest car companies in the world. And I think they're both really dumb. Hey! I actually think that right now, the country leading the way in EV is South Korea. What did you say? But we'll come back to that in a second. Let's look at their choices first. Germany is an automotive powerhouse, but in the EV game, they're a little behind. In 2013, BMW unveiled the i3, one of the world's first desirable electric city cars. But BMW haven't followed it up with anything in the seven years since. Later this year, we'll likely see a production-ready version of BMW's second pure EV, the i4, but it took them long enough. Meanwhile, Mercedes, Audi and Porsche also arrived a little late to the party, and while their maiden EV offerings are among the most desirable out there, these are high-end, expensive cars, and those are not the way to bring electric to the masses. Germany also has VW on its side, and the new ID3 could well go on to be one of the most popular, influential electric cars ever made, but it's not here yet. What about America then? Well, Tesla is probably the most influential automotive brand in the world right now. And you could certainly argue that the immense success of the Model 3 alone is enough to deem America the overall winner. The Model 3 has barely been on sale for two years and it's on track to become the first EV to sell half a million units any day now. But we're not debating which brand is having the biggest impact. We're talking about the combined efforts of a nation's car makers. And as a whole, the American car industry is not quite so forward thinking. Outside of Tesla, Chevy has the Bolt, which sells pretty well in the US but never came to Europe, where it was better suited, and that's about it. Ford's first EV, the Mustang Mach-E, is still months away from customer deliveries, and General Motors has just this month laid out ambitious plans to have 20 different electric vehicles on the market by 2023, but as of right now, that's just talk. I don't think America is leading the way in EVs. They certainly are if you base it on sales figures, but I think there's more to it than that. I would argue that the country doing the most to accelerate the EV revolution is the country doing the most to dispel the fears and doubts people currently have about electric cars, namely range anxiety, and price. That's why for me, the country leading the way is South Korea. Because while the rest of the world's car makers seem to be more interested in building 70,000 pound electric SUVs and 2 million pound electric hypercars, Korean sister brands Kia and Hyundai have quietly been churning out long range, affordable EVs for a few years now. Take the Kia e Nero. Sure, it isn't the hottest thing on four wheels, but it costs less than a BMW i3 and has over 100 miles more range. There's also the e Nero's more stylish sibling, the Soul EV, another sub £35,000 car offering nearly 300 miles of range. Then there's Hyundai's Ioniq and Econa, two more long range EVs with prices starting in the low 30,000s. In fact, if you were to make a list of all the EVs on sale in Europe that offer over 200 150 miles of range. The three cheapest ones are all South Korean, and it's not even close. South Korea's crop of EVs are not the sexiest product, and they don't sell the most units. You may well never own or drive a Kia e Nero, but the sheer fact that a sub £35,000 electric car with nearly 300 miles of range exists raises the bar for the entire car industry and forces every other brand to up their game. And that is why, in my personal opinion, South Korea is winning the electric car race. What do you think about all of this. Do you disagree with my controversial pick? Are you team coal, team rich, a country we didn't mention? Let us know down in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you soon.